in this video i'm going to show you how to get all your google photos out take the backup out and then get the whole thing sorted out into your timelines and everything so if in case you're going to use it into a nas storage where you want to take up take out all the photos from google photos and put it into your nas storage and have like synology or image server to have them organized date wise and this is how you're going to do it because the backup that comes out of google does not have your metadata embedded into the photos so they do have a way of making things hard for you when you're trying to move away from their service yeah so let's get started so now the first thing you need to do is take out the data backup from google so for that you will have to go to a website called takeout.google.com go ahead and feel free to go type it in google like takeout google and it should give you the first link over there you know you go in there and sign in and you'll end up on a page like this and the first thing you can see is you can back up any data that is there in your google account so i'm going to go and select deselect all because so, we're going to use google photos as the only thing that's going to be taken out so now go ahead and select multiple formats you get so you see the json file is the one that has a metadata of the location timestamp and everything of every photo so that's what you're going to need go ahead scroll down next step and export once so you can either choose to export it every two months for a year or you can do it in once so i'm going to go ahead and select one and send download via link and zip file file size i'm going to go ahead and select the maximum one out there okay and zip over here so you can just extract everything that's in one file and then have it done if in your case you have more than one zip file it's still i'll show you how to do it so this usually takes a lot of time depending on how much data you have so once the export is done Google is going to send you an email where you can download uh, the whole data that has been backed up. So you go and open your email, click on the link and just download the zip file. So once you download it, you will have a zip file that needs to be extracted. So now, once you finish downloading your file, the zip file should look something like, let me show you, just give me one second. So it should be something similar to these two out here you see take out so in my case there's two files so it's one zero zero one over here and zero zero two these two files are the takeout files so what you're gonna do is extract these two files okay so you go by order so one you double click on it and you so let's see let me just show you. I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip the same. So it's easier for me to. Yeah. So you unzip it. I'm going to put it to desktop. So let's say OK. And OK. So once the extracting is complete, you will have all your data into this thing called the takeout. Two files here. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract both the files into the same location desktop so when you do that you will have everything in one location so once you have all the files in one location you're going to have to run a, a program that's freely and open source available which is going to be called Windowsa and i'll put the link to the program so you can download it it's available on github and they have clear instructions that's what we're going to use to extract all the meta files and everything yeah so you're going to go ahead and go ahead scroll down to the page yeah after exporting just give me one second now you go to the release tab I'll put the link in the description for you so and you download based on what system you have in my case it's Windows so I'm gonna go ahead and download Windows yeah so I already have it downloaded on my 
desktop so that's the file here completely forgot where I place the new folders Google take out it and brush it. yeah it's this one here so you have all your zip files out here so what you're going to do is this is the exact takeout folder you're going to go ahead and paste this into this which is your windows file and you will go ahead right click and run as administrator so when windows is showing you something like this you go ahead and hit on more info and run anyway so now you see all the thing it's going to ask you for where the google photos um directory is so go ahead and feel free to press enter and then you're going to select where it is which is local disk d in my case google takeout zip yeah so go ahead local disk d google takeout zip and take out you're selecting the root takeout directory cool now that's done now the output folder so what i'm going to do is select a different output folder than this one so that if at all this process breaks in between i don't have to download the google takeout zips again sorry i don't have to extract the google takeout zips again which is going to take a lot of time depending on how much data you have yeah so i'm going to go ahead and make a new folder saying extracted out here so you know exactly what you're going to look for so now those two things are done select if you want a one big folder or year and month folders so in my case i just need one big folder so i'm going to go with one and go ahead enter and albums so if you have loads of state storage left and then you have like space for duplicate copies of each and every album photo you can feel free to do that in my case i'm just going to go ahead with shortcuts so have a look at those options so shortcuts is going to create system links so if you move it to another system it's not going to work so if you're going to move your whole album to a different one i'd say just go ahead with duplicate copy or feel free to go ahead with zero as your option now there you go running searching for everything in the input folder now depending on the amount of data this is going to take a huge amount of time so i suggest that be patient so it, it's it's more like i have close to around 300 gb of data that was downloaded so for me it took about i think close to around six to nine hours depending on what system and everything you have so i would suggest that you just find a day where you can just leave your laptop around lying there you know without any hindrance but it's a one-time thing and once you're done with it you don't have to worry about it so you know all the metadata is patched up with your photos that's backed up from google here we go so what we see over here is that there's a lot of albums with a failure on it because I know for a fact that it's because of my own file that I downloaded and I did not have the proper JSON files in the zip that I extracted and I messed it up a little bit but then yes in your case it should all be fine and even if it does not have a little bit of um, what do you say even if it does have a little bit of errors it's going to be fine because it's it's just removing those duplicate files and then it's just trying to link the ones that are not available and stuff you know so once it's done you're going to get something called done and your thing gets finished yeah now all you have to do is head over to the place where you gave your path so in my case i've given ext now you see all the albums and everything that we've extracted is over here yeah so it's it's once you go into the all photos you should be able to get all the photos and every album that is out here you should be able to see it's linked to the images yeah so these albums are linked to the all photos folder and everything and if you go into the properties of every photo you should be able to see the exact date it was created 
and the modified date the modified date is when it was like actually created and so that when you upload these files into another uh, photo provider or something you should be able to get the proper timeline with these photos because all your JSON is merged with the photo files so you're not going to misplace anything or you're not going to affect the timeline order uh, chronological order of your photos yeah so if you like the video hit like and subscribe and if you do have any suggestions drop it down in the comment section and if you need any other topics that i need to be co covering or anything any suggestions at all feel free to leave it and leave it in the comment section as well and i'll make sure that i do that as well thanks for watching guys